hydrogen burn off igniters initiate. Seven, six, five, four stage engine start. Three. Okay, let's rewind. We need a little bit more context. And ladies and gentlemen, as you're seeing in chat, we do officially have a scrub. It's fun to see them using these engineering cameras yeah. to troubleshoot issues. Um, we we might actually almost want to change our T0 clock now to almost say it's not going to be launching in 30 minutes. But I'm happy to report we're not looking at any type of satellite imagery like the ones you just showed. Overall, weather is looking quite favorable. I've never been able to come see a launch in person. <laughs> T minus 10 minutes and counting. We are T minus 10 minutes away from liftoff of Artemis 1. As you can see, the clock is now moving. Let's put that up. Put that audio in here. I mean, it might even Rockets go. There we go. All right, copy all. And launch director NTD, our launch team is ready to proceed at this time. I copy all in C. At this time, I will proceed with my poll. And by complete chance, I'm actually traveling from Scotland to Orlando during the week of this launch. I don't think it's a secret that I'm a bit of a space enthusiast, so being able to see this during my PhD studies was really motivational for me. So I just packed my bag with my laptop and headed off to Orlando. I see it! I fucking see the cut! I see it! It's orange, bro! <laughs> I see I'm right away. I'm As you can tell, I was pretty excited. It's Thank definitely you. a surreal Look, feeling when you can fucker. see it with your own eyes for the it. first time after traveling for such a long distance and not really getting any assurance that you're gonna see it. So the parking situation was quite bad at first. 40 bucks to park there, but wasn't too worried but we are in quite a large pickup truck with a like a large trunk i knew that was good seating space though and also we could sit on the roof of the truck to watch it so this location seemed good at first literally roll in here yeah and then I mean, we'll... we're still gonna be in the car so we can always just yeah yeah but let's that. let's walk we can walk up and... okay so there and that's where it would be you can see it that's it there yeah. but then that's a that's I don't know what that is on the right. I think that's the spending that's the space center on the right, that yellow one. Where? The orange there. Yeah, I yeah. think that's the space center and that's like yeah. one of the demos. That's what I was meaning from the original space shuttle program. So we just walked along the pier for a while and enjoyed the view and we were treated with a nice little surprise as well. We waited around 12 hours. We arrived about 2 p.m. The launch was for 3 a.m. and there was a delay as well, so there's plenty of time to soak in the sights. When they're playing, oh look, there's two over there as well. Over there on the right. Bruh, yeah, dolphins and a rocket. Come on, if they jump up, I got them both in frame. We needed to get some food, so we headed off to this restaurant that was directly behind where we parked, and it turns out a lot of astronauts have actually eaten there as well. For the steak, damn, that's cool. We know this guy, John Glenn. So the vibes were pretty good at this point, and it started to get quite busy, but my GoPro failed, and it was a bit of a red flag. Now, I don't know much Japanese, but I did manage to speak a little bit, which got the Japanese news media over, and they wanted to have a conversation. That was pretty cool. Now, just a forewarning, if you're looking for a new perspective of the rocket launch, I'm not sure you're going to get a really good one here. As you heard previously that the GoPro stopped working. I've used this thing so many times and the one point I needed it to work in my entire life, it actually just stopped working. And you can hear it turn off in the second clip that my partner managed to take. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> Three, two, 
One, boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. After watching the launch, we went back a few days later to check out the Space Center itself and got a little tour around the facility. Got to see the Saturn 1B, some of the rockets that were used in the Gemini program. And honestly, it was uh, an incredible experience and I couldn't recommend it enough for anyone. I did get an up close look with the Falcon 9 rocket as well. And my impression was sci-fi. The landing legs are massive and look like something from a movie when you look at them in detail. Another cool thing I found was the Azure Connect DK was actually in the center itself. So I got to kind of experience how it was being used in a commercial environment. It's something that I'm actually using for my PhD as well. So it's quite cool. And I think one of the coolest parts of the experience was the Gemini 9 capsule. It really does look like it was welded together in a garage with flight control systems from the 40s and really is quite amazing to see. But yeah, that was my trip. I hope you enjoyed it.